I recently talked about all the anime from 2018 I was looking forward to, but one that slipped under my radar was A Place Further Than the Universe, which has one of the best first episodes of any anime I have seen in a long time. I did not know what to expect, just heard from a friend that it was good, and it blew me away as it did everything a good first episode should do. If you recall from my video about the start of My Hero Academia, the four things a great introduction needs to do is introduce an interesting story, showcase likable characters, establish the world, and introduce the themes of the show, and the start to a place further than the universe does all these really well. The world is basic. It is shown to be a realistic rendition of ours, and so nothing really stand out here, but it forms the foundation of a show that is trying to be believable. Void of any supernatural or science fiction elements, the story is one of the more unique aspects though, with Shirase wanting to find out what happened to her mom in Antarctica. This immediately got my attention just because it was unique, and it gives the show a really good goal to aim the story towards, but also something where they can have a lot of like side plots and things to get in the character's way to achieve this goal. The themes of the show are evident from the first episode about living youth to the fullest and not giving in to fear of the unknown. This ties into the characters as well with Mari really wanting to do something extraordinary but just going through the life like she's sleepwalking through it all. This is something relatable to many people who want to do something different in life but are trapped by their comfortable everyday lives that they don't want to lose. But giving Mari these relatable characteristics, she becomes likable and we want to see her have this adventure to go on this crazy journey to Antarctica. I like how we see her embrace the desire for change too. She starts off as someone who just wants to do something different but can't, and so seeing her overcome her fear like she did is much more powerful than if she wasn't afraid of this journey to begin with It was always a gung-ho, go-do crazy things. And that is why she works so well as a main character. But the more interesting character here is Shirase. I love the foil between Mari and Shirase and how Mari wants to be like Shirase who is striving to make her impossible dream come true. The viewer is naturally drawn to characters like Shirase who are chasing after something that seems so far out of reach and we want to see her succeed. This is the appeal of characters like Deku from My Hero Academia who want to be a hero even though they don't have a quirk. Or Hinata from Haikyuu who wants to be a great volleyball player even though he's so short. Or Shiro from Fates Tonight, he wants to be a hero of justice even though, well, he's an idiot. But the reason that Shirase's goal works so well is that it is a concrete one. She wants to figure out what happened to her mother. It is a goal that we can kind of picture what it means for success as opposed to just pursuing an ideal or an idea. It's also a goal where we can kind of picture how she might do it. Like go to Antarctica, uncover the mysteries, and all that and we can see her taking the steps she needs to do that, such as her saving up the money, even if there are a lot of ways in which it seems kind of impossible for her to actually succeed in her goal. She is also challenging the culture of the world by pursuing this because everyone thinks that her idea is crazy, it's dangerous, but she's pursuing it anyway, making her someone to root for. Another thing that's impressive about this first episode is how it got me excited without any big twist. A lot of shows that really draw me in have some big surprise in the first episode to serve as a hook. Like with Sword Art Online when they find out they are trapped inside the game. Or the zombies attacking Kabanari, Or the Titans attacking an attack on Titan. Or the twist at the end of the first episode of School Live. While all these were great twists and I loved all these first episodes, you can't have a show just built around the twist unless you have more to back it up later on. So all these shows did feel like they lost steam. With Place Further Than the Universe though, the interest comes just from the interesting foundation offered in the first episode. There weren't any big twists, just a concept being introduced and not really much action to speak of. So I feel this bodes better for the quality of a show as a whole as opposed to a show that goes all out with the first episode and then falls apart, or at least goes down in quality. I will admit I do have some concerns since the whole concept of them exploring Antarctica could quickly fall apart, and the opening makes the show seem kind of lighthearted for a serious adventure like this journey would entail, but the first episode sold me on the show as a whole, so I have faith that this will continue to be good. And another reason I am excited is the staff behind it. With the director and script writer having experience working on shows like No Game No Life, Hebeki Euphonium, and Steinsgate, all of which are very highly regarded, 
this really could be something great. So tell me what you thought of this first episode down below. Or if you are from the future, tell me what you thought of the rest of the series and if it lived up to the first episode. No spoilers though, as I probably won't watch this weekly, so yeah. Or at least wait like a year to spoil it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.